Number 25. Repeat exercise 9.24 for the pulley shown in figure 9.25, letter C. Assuming you pull straight up on the rope, the pulley system's mass is 7 kilograms. So I copied number 24 over here, and uh, number 24 is telling us that the mass of the object is 115 kilograms, so the object right here is going to be 115 kilograms, all right? So 115 kilograms, and obviously, you know, it's experiencing force due to gravity, so therefore this object has a certain weight. Okay, now the whole idea and, so not only does this object have mass, but the whole pulley system now also has mass, all right, which it should. Um, oh my goodness, these landscapers are not giving up today. Uh, what time is it? 7.10 now. 7.10 a.m. And we got landscapers outside. As I said in the prior video, the joys of suburbia. Anyway, the mass then of the pulley system is 7 kilograms. And um, so now I'm totally distracted. Where are we going? Right. Okay. So we got to repeat this whole exercise. Okay. So first question is then let's highlight it. It says, what would happen? Uh, what would be the tension in the rope? Okay. So now we, uh, you know, reference number 24, because I have a very simple formula I'm just going to apply right here. I already talked about the theory. So tension is going to be equal to mg over, uh, and this should really be the, I should say this should really be the, let me generalize the total weight, okay, divided by the mechanical advantage. So now in this problem, or in the problem prior, we just had one uh, mass, so therefore it was just mg. But in this problem, we have two masses. We have the mass of the object here, and we have then the mass of the whole pulley system. So I'm basically just saying that it should be the total weight at the top. Okay, so uh, this would be the then the mass of the mass of the car engine times gravity plus the mass of the uh, pulley system times gravity all divided by the mechanical advantage. Remember, the mechanical advantage is equal to the number of arrows pointing upward or opposing the weight, okay? So, all we have to simply do now is plug in the values. So we have the mass of the car engine was 115 uh, kilograms times 9.8, plus the mass of the pulley system was seven kilograms times 9.8, and then all divided by the mechanical advantage, which is four. So let's just plug it all into the uh, formula or into the calculator, I should say 115 times 9.8 plus 7 times 9.8, all divided by 4. All right, so we get, considering sig figs and rounding, we get 299 newtons. All right, so that takes care of letter A. Now let's take care of letter um, B. So where should I put that? Right here. All right, so letter B, let's highlight it. It says, now, what force must the ceiling supply, assuming you pull, well, it's not assuming you pull straight down on the rope anymore because now you're pulling straight up on the rope. Okay, so we still got to figure out the force that the ceiling is exhibiting. Uh, so now, uh, you know, how, how do we go about uh, calculating this? So basically, think about what's happening here. Okay, the object now, right here, is now moving upward. Okay, and the weight of this object has to be supported by the ceiling up here right okay but now it is moving upward right so i am applying a tension and i am applying this tension pulling up right on the object so therefore the force that i should say this the force that the ceiling i'll draw my little arrow in here at the, on the on the top of the picture the force that the ceiling is experiencing okay will then or let me actually detail the three forces and then I'll detail the formula, okay? So we have the force of the ceiling pulling upward. We got the force due to gravity or the weight of this object, the weight of the object, um, uh, the weight of the car engine, right? And remember, we have the whole total system's weight plus the total system's weight uh, plus the weight of the system, the pulley system, pulling down. And then we also now are pulling upward on this part of the rope. So we have this third force vector here, and I'll say that this is equal to the tension um, in the rope, okay? I said the force of the rope, but it's the same thing as the tension. Let me write T of the rope, okay? So these are the three, four, these are the forces that are acting. Okay, so now, remember, we know that the system is in equilibrium, okay, no acceleration, so I can write some of the forces equal to zero. I have the force of the ceiling pointing upward, so therefore it's positive. I have the tension in the rope pointing upwards, therefore it's positive. And then I have now the total system's uh, weight, 
which is just the weight of the car engine plus the weight of the system. And I'll just write that, I'll say that this is equal to WT. So this is equal to WT there. And that's all gonna equal zero. So now we're trying to find the force on the ceiling. So therefore, it's gonna be the total weight minus then the tension in the rope. Okay, so here the force of the ceiling will then be what's the total, uh, what's the total weight? So again, we can add up the two masses, 115 plus seven. Multiply that then by 9.8. Subtract now out the tension in the rope that we found over here. Okay, so that's 299. And voila. So force of the ceiling now should equal, let's calculate. So we got 115 times, oops, 115 plus seven times 9.8 minus 299. And there we go. So we get a value of about, yeah, 297. So let me just type that in. Hold on one second. So we get a value of about, uh, sorry, not, what am I talking about 297? This is 897. So I was looking at this number bef uh, before. So we get a number of about 897, 897 newtons, okay? All right, guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.